You've got to keep the National Health Service. Well, that's that's essential, that is. Keeping it, Keep it. Keeping it completely free or keeping yeah. it... Yeah. 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 But I do think yeah. the health care, despite all our criticisms, is pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. um, you may have to wait for appointments and things, but I think on the whole, once you get into what they call the system, um, you're quite well looked after, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm. You're not. You're not better if you haven't got. A, a, you don't drive. Well, no. But I if you want to go to Watford, or which is our hospital, oh, yes, oh, yes. a list of where we have to go now mm. because yeah. we have mm. we. Um, well, in Garden City, they're going to close down. If you haven't got any transport, it's very hard. Yeah. Mm. Now I've got a, a friend who lives out in Batford, and you'd call it in the sticks, right? Mm. And hourly bus route. Well, this morning I had a, an appointment at the hospital and, and this friend agreed to come with me. And luckily, we phoned each other last night about time for buses and luckily I'd got a timetable off the bus the other week. And do you know that one of the, the bus she was going to get on doesn't run anymore? I stopped it. And that's out in the sticks. I so what is, that, what, they don't tell them, of course they don't. Well, the parking's disgraceful, really, because sick people go there. I mean, I go there very regular because uh, I get good attention and they send for me. And uh, I go and they sort me out over different things. And I think it's appalling that they're going to charge at the hospital parking. I know everybody has to park their car. Most people turn up in cars, you see. I mean, many of them are too ill to walk, or bus even. Well, I don't think we've got enough nurses. I've just had a, somebody, I, my uh, son-in-law's father has just been in hospital, just, only just very recently, until last week. And I'm told that the nurses that are there are very good, but there aren't enough of them. Um, he was quoting somebody calling out to, you know, wanted some attention. Nobody about. And I just think they've cut back so much. We want more nurses. And I mean more nurses, because I mean they are the backbone of the uh, National House. I mean, they are God's angels. They are. I mean, I had to. I actually used um, uh, services of um, paramedic just about a fortnight ago. They turned up in the ambulance. They treated me very well. Gave me ECG and everything. Made me okay. They were marvellous. They were. I've, I've got no complaints against the uh, the nurses. I mean, I think the doctors are getting well paid as it is. I, you know, because I know they work long hours. They look. You know, the doctors. I think. When you're in the hospital, I think they're overworked in the hospital. My memory of nursing care when my parents were much younger was that the care was paramount, and I feel it's not paramount now. They are very concerned with targets and budgets, mm. um, yeah. and the ward is full of people who are not necessarily nurses, doing their designated task, but it's when you ask them to stretch over into a... It, it can't be done. Well, there's a lot about it now in the papers, and it comes again down to basics of just looking after them, not so much the medicine side, but the caring. If the people in the hospitals and the homes, if they... Um, feel that someone is really looking after them, I think that counts for such a lot, such a lot. And perhaps they're not getting it in the hospitals now. I don't know. I haven't been in one. <laughs>